Alright guys, so right now I'm checking out at Fuso at uh, Mitsubishi. I have no idea what year this car is, don't really care. Um, all that I know is that this car has an excessive knock going on and um, I thought I'd bring you guys along and I'd show you guys what I have found so far. So, this is the uh, the pressure waveform from the uh, crankcase. So right now what I have is that I have my delta sensor hooked up to the dipstick tube of the uh, for the uh, oil dipstick. Uh, and all I'm doing is that I'm measuring the pulses coming out of the engine. Now, if you have excessive blow-by or uh, anything around there, you won't have even pulses going on, which is what I am having onto this. Now, it doesn't look like much right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase my RPM. All right. So with the RPM increase, you can clearly see that there's one piston that is uh, having excessive blow-by going on, all right? And the client wants to buy this, so me personally, I wouldn't buy this at all. Um, I would just leave it as is, okay? And it is repetitive, so one, two, three, four. Then we have a big drop, right? One, two, three, four, we have a big drop. I'll pinch it together, uh, it makes it a little bit clearer. All right. So as you can tell, there is uh, something going on inside of this engine. It is extremely loud. Um, I'll bring you guys outside and let you guys listen to it. Okay, this is rod knock going on or piston knock inside of the, the block. And as I said, I wouldn't put any more money into this or I wouldn't even think about purchasing it. So give me one second, I'll show that to you guys. So as you can tell, that is uh, very, very loud. I'll give it some gas. All right, so that's it for me personally. I wouldn't put no money into this and I wouldn't even buy it. So that's it for this one. It was fast, it was, but at the same time, uh, with what I'm seeing on here, I wouldn't go any further. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.